You want to know what shit looks like when you cover it up in plastic? Well, here's one right here. Deadly Towers on the NES. Now, there's not much to say about this smelly turd besides it's one of the biggest piece of shit games I've ever experienced in my nerd life. So I guess the only thing left to do now is play it just so you guys can see what the inside of this shit looks like. Just as a kid, you know, you take a shit, you don't know what it is, and out of your own curiosity, you'll tear it apart with your hands, and then because of that, you get it all over you. And then your parents walk in like, Oh, what the hell did you do, you dirty little shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, oh, you guys never did that, huh? Well, anyways, let's just play the game. If you let the game load for a bit, it'll play a backstory. And my god, no one would ever want to read this much text, and it scrolls way too damn fast. And hell, I don't even think it tells you what to do, I think you're supposed to collect seven bells and burn them in some sacred fire or some stupid ass shit. Anyways, the game begins and the first thing I have to point out is my character. What happened? He looks nothing like the guy on the cover. Now that's what you call cool. Well, not really, but he's a hell of a lot cooler than this stupid-ass kid wearing green pajamas with horns on his head. I mean, what were they thinking? Talk about false advertisement. But hell, Pajama Boy is the least of our concern. Every time you enter a new screen, you get gang-raped by a clusterfuck of strange enemies. The enemies that you'll encounter in this game are snakes, bats, crawling dildos, flaming vaginas, airborne feces, or whatever the hell it is, and these damn balls. Why do these balls take 20 plus hits to kill? That is so ridiculous. Obviously the game designers didn't give a rat's ass when making this game. The music is god awful. I mean, just listen. Just listen to it. That's what you call some fuck. Your weapon is a sword, which is fine. Basic stuff in any adventure game. Too bad Pajama Boy doesn't know how to swing his sword. Yeah, can't swing your sword. How stupid, right? Instead, you physically throw your sword. At least on a good note, you have unlimited supply of swords to throw. But on a bad note, you can't throw another sword until the sword you threw prior leaves the screen. This bullshit leaves you vulnerable. It's fucking horse shit! My god, just look at this nonsense. Ah, uh, what a joke. You have an inventory screen. That seems pretty standard. Shows your life and everything. It also has this thing called Lutter. Yeah, it shows I have 51 Lutter. I can only assume that it's currency, so I looked it up to check what it meant. And according to an urban dictionary, Lutter means cheap ass ho. So therefore, Pajama Boy has 51 cheap ass hoes right now. So he's doing pretty good for himself. Now I can understand wanting to call the currency for the fantasy world something different. But what's wrong with just calling it gold? You'll eventually find a shop where you can trade in your cheap ass hoes for useful stuff. And damn! He really wants a lot of my cheap ass hoes in exchange for his junk. Guess he'll be having fun later. Huh, you dirty creepy black rope stud muffin you. Even with my new items, Pajama Boy still gets his ass handed to him. Fuck! Now there's nothing wrong with the challenge, but this game just flat out says, Fuck you, eat shit, and die! This game is so bad, I'd rather have a porcupine shoved up my ass. I'd rather drink skunk juice while getting skull fucked by a moose. I would rather have Pajama Boy and all his letter shit diarrhea all over me. Or in other words, this game sucks. 
when they named this game Deadly Towers, boy, they sure weren't kidding. Because everywhere you go in this game is a death trap and you just die. This game is nothing more than a fecal matter that needs to be flushed down the toilet. Fuck this game, stay away from it.